Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. So in today's video what we're going to be going over is adding collision to our cloth simulation inside of our game. So this is once again going to be a very very quick video as it's very easy to do but it's something I've been asked quite a lot based upon my previous video so I'm going to be going over doing that today so I thought I'd just make a video on it to more easily explain it to a lot of people. So if we press Alt P and to simulate the game we can see when our cloth simulates and falls onto these spheres here it's going to actually collide with it and wrap around it as you can see perfectly here. Now what's probably happening for you is this, it's just going to simulate and go straight through like so, there's no collision at all, whereas obviously what we're going to do today is make sure they do collide like so. Now obviously it doesn't have to be for a cloth like this, it can be for anything, for example in my previous video I set up a flag, but again this is what we're going to be going over today. So what we're not going to be doing is setting up the cloth simulation itself, we're just doing the collision, we set up the simulation in a previous video which I'll leave a link to in the description down below and on screen now. But we've rambled on a little bit too much, so without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So again, I told you this is incredibly simple to do, it's very very easy, we just need to tick two boxes. So you're going to want to make sure that you have got your cloth in game, so what it is that it's simulating is already in your level, you can't do this in the editor for the skeletal mesh, so if I had to open it up, you cannot do it in here unfortunately, you have to do it in the level, so it's going to be different for each individual instance. So an easy way to do this, so you don't have to do it on every instance, would be to do it inside of a blueprint if you wanted to instead. But what you need to do is just select the skeletal mesh that you want to have, and then we want to search for collide, like so. And what we're going to do is tick collide with environment and force collision update, and those are under clothing, like so. And once we've done that, we hit simulate, we should see that it's now going to actually collide with the environment and wrap itself around whatever we want, Basically, it's going to simulate how we would want it to. So let me untick it on one of them and just show you it working with one on, one off. You'll see the difference we have here, perfectly like so. So again, this is very quick, simple and easy to do. A very short video, but again, two tick boxes. But I've been asked quite a lot, which is why I'm actually making a video on it. Just so I don't have to keep saying the same thing over and over again. I've got a video showing you how to actually do it. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we want to do. Again, as I've just gone over, we've set it up, so our cloth simulation we set up in the previous video is actually going to collide with the environment. So what I can do is also just drag it over here and scale it up a little bit to have it wrap itself around the edge of this block perfectly, like so. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.